right. Today's lesson will be on U-joints. I know I already posted a video of removing the drive shaft and kind of messing with the U-joints, but now there's an actual issue. So you can see what happens when things break. This right here is a, uh, a very damaged U-joint. When you step on the gas, you'll hear a clunk. And that would be the U-joint slipping and moving around, and I can't really rotate it, but I have another video that you can look at to see how much that moves. So we're going to have to replace that. So in order to take this rear drive shaft out, take off these two bolts and these two bolts. And since mine is a slip joint, it literally just pulls right out. So I'm going to remove the bolts so that I can do this outside of the vehicle because it's uh it's interesting. My milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Mmm. That was after the second fluid change. Ooh. Ooh. Little bit of thumpy dumpy damage right there. Nice. A little bit over there too. So here's the caps. Got a chip out of there and lots of magnetic stuff. As you can tell, uh, there's no needle bearings. They all got grinded to a pulp. Not exactly a functioning appropriately. Yeah, so that's a little fucked up. Unlike this, which is smooth and doesn't wonk around and stuff. I didn't realize these were greasable. Maybe I should have uh, greased them. But the new one I got is completely sealed and non-greasable. I don't know if those are better or not, but hey, I won't have to grease them. So yeah, we have the fun part of getting this one out. There are clips. Clips. Basically the way they work, you just kind of squeeze them and hope they come out with uh, a lot of persuading. So, and then after that, you get to beat the caps out. Hooray. Fun in the sun. Right. <laughs> Here's the torch. Where's the cooler? Yeah, there are bearings inside. Oh man, look at that. Look how messed up it is. Yeah. That thing was in dire need of replacement. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dire need is right. Nice.
Or we should put it in the other end first, maybe. Yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> you string up the lights. I already did. <laughs> Take them down then. <laughs> <laughs> make a tool for this. I'm sure. We just don't have it. <laughs> Actually went in. Look at that. Here's the uh, the U-joint that was in okay condition. Now you notice there's still needle bearings in there and some type of grease. The one cap didn't have any grease on it, but the other ones looked pretty decent. Not terrible. Definitely a little brown, but better than being dry. So dry that the uh, needle bearings literally just grind it into a pulp. So, you your joints. <laughs> so, <laughs> we replaced this side as well, just because, hey, we got the thing out, so fuck it. Yeah. Alright, two new U-joints. Okay, so, after lining up your, your marks and making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, last step is to put on a new hardware kit for the bolts, so it's just two uh, clamps and four bolts, you bolt it up, and you're good to go. So, I'm going to do that. And there you have it. Brand new Universal Joints. Hooray! Now I won't have terrible rear-end vibration that could cause my drive shaft to come apart. So that would be bad. So, uh. Good luck on your travels.